is Emily at the Cranston Public Library, and I'm here to share with you another one of your STEM mentoring books. This is Ocean Renewable Energy. It's by Kristen Yurinchik. The ocean floor has been a source of energy for many years. We use this energy in the form of oil and gas. Oil and gas energy is not renewable. Once we have used it up, it is gone. But we can also get renewable types of energy like wind. We build windmills or wind turbines to capture that power. There are some turbines. The motion of the ocean can be another source of energy. Tides come in and out. Waves move up and down. The ocean is fun to play in but it can also be very powerful. Scientists and engineers are studying how to build machines that capture this motion to generate the electricity we need. Rigs that drill for oil are big, as big as skyscrapers. Machines to capture motion are much smaller but we may need a lot of them in one place to be effective. Here are some of the machines they're talking about. As we are searching for new energy, we must think about other ways that oceans are important. Oceans, excuse me, humans use the ocean for food, transportation, and fun. See the people fishing? We also share the ocean with fish and other animals that live there. Tiny ocean plants create much of the air that we breathe. We need to make sure that new renewable energy technologies are safe for animals and people. What animals do you see in that picture? We will do this with careful planning and placement of our machines. That way, we can have the energy we need and still protect, preserve, and enjoy our living ocean. It has two ideas for us at the end. One is, make a list of things you love about the ocean. The other one is talk with your family about ways to use energy responsibly in your home. I think we have another book about that. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for reading with me. That was Ocean Renewable Energy.